Hello there, here's another tank update. Sorry I haven't made one in like a month. I uh, was having issues with my sister's camcorder and I finally bought a new battery for mine. So, yeah, the uh, memory card for whatever reason wouldn't read in her camera and then when I tried uploading videos it would fail halfway through. So let's hope this one works. Uh, quite a few changes. Um, the cyanobacteria issue that I was having is gone just about now. Well, thanks to some lead slime stuff. This stuff here works really well. 16 bucks. I think it was worth it. Comes in a huge thing like this. One dose of that size. Ridiculously small. And I also got a return pump for my sump. This return pump, it's a submergible utility pump from Marineland. It pumps 245 gallons an hour, 75 at 3 feet, which is basically where I have mine. And I still have to tone it down because my overflow that I made still isn't able to handle it. And here's my sump that I am in the process of uh siliconing in the panels the return will come in on this part come underneath the first panel then come up and over into uh, this second bay which will probably be for like mud and live rock now come over into the third one here and then that's when the return pump will pump it back into the tank so turning my old 10 gallon into the sump let me know how you think First of all, I cut the first panel too small, so I had to add a little bit to it. Okay, well, I still have my two clowns, as you can see there. Um, I still have my four-stripe damsel. Right back there, he likes to hide there. I don't know why he won't come out anymore. That other damsel that I had, well, a couple of nights ago, it got sucked up into the filter. And that right there, the little white spot by the other hermit crabs that I bought. It's right there, got eaten by them basically. I have, what is it? I bought five the first time and then six the second, but one of them fought over a shell and it died. It's sitting right there as well. So, there's one, two, three back there, four, five, six on that rock, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Well, wait, one of those shells is empty. So, yeah. There's all the hermit crabs right there. I have two new Mexican turbo snails, which one's right there. They're quite large indeed. There's one. Uh, the other one's off and doing something. I still have my three margarita snails and that one astro snail somewhere. Right there. So. Yes, uh, don't have any more corals or rock or anything like that, although I will probably need some. Uh, what else? My pump's doing good. I got more salt, 50 pounds, or 50 gallons worth for like 15 bucks. Yeah, I know how to get it for very cheap. Uh, -huh. uh, other than that, my tank is doing quite well now. Uh, as soon as I get my sump up and running, I will make another video update in about two days or so to show you what I've done with it. My Kenya tree corals here are doing quite, quite well. As you can see, they're a lot bigger. I don't know, maybe you can, but that's a lot bigger than what it was. I have all five of them, they're all growing. I got some food for them. My, uh, Button polyps, I don't know, for a while there they were actually turning greenish blue, so I don't know what they are. Can't really see them. Lighting is weird. But yeah, they've grown. Every now and then the third one will come up. In other words, it's just stay shut. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, I had some green hair algae before, and then my the first set of hermit crabs I got, they're all blue-legged took care of it and within 
24 hours. And I have some growing right there, which hasn't been touched for probably about five days. So either they haven't found it or they're just not into it. Uh, I got four of these tiny blue-legged hermit crabs this past time and two red-legged hermit crabs, I believe. So, well, they have red legs, so I don't know what they are. Uh, on that rock that has fallen, there was a ton of coralline algae growing on it recently, so that's good news, I suppose. Looks like I'm getting some right there on this rock, so that's nice. Uh, I got my drill checked this past week, that's why I was able to get this new battery for this. And also be able to get my pump, or my return pump, and my panels for my sump going, so that's good. I spent probably about a hundred bucks over the weekend on everything for this. What else did I get? I went out to pick up some baby brine shrimp decapsulated eggs or whatever for my friend. I'll probably keep some of them so I can have it for my uh, tank as well so I can feed them something new besides just pellet food or flake food. That's right there. And there's my coral food. Yeah. So. Yep. Uh, please rate, subscribe. Let me know if you think I should get a certain type of fish. This is a 20 gallon with a 10 gallon sump. Uh, there was a blue hippo tang for sale for 44 bucks at Petco down the road, but I wasn't gonna get it. And then my other pet store that I always go to, Pet Junction, brought in a blue hippo tang yesterday and I helped them unload. And they're selling that for like 55, 60 bucks. Still there. I don't know if I should get it once I get my uh, some more money. Let me know if you think I should, because it's not even the size of the clowns there. So it's doable for now. And within like, I don't know, six, seven months, I'm going to be upgrading to like a 90, 100 gallon tank, as I have said in the previous videos. So please rate, subscribe, comment. Let me know what else I should do with this. There he is. Hmm. If you think that there's a fish that I should get, please let me know. I still have a, this little generic lighting system right now. That will probably be... I'm not going to upgrade that until I get my main display tank that I'll have. So, okay. Uh, talk to you in a little while. Bye.